fucking coffee in the morning and we could get up and do this and wake ourselves up. Let's go. Okay, here goes everything. What is up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully each and every one of you guys are having a great and amazing day. Today, or actually just a few minutes ago, I just got confirmation that we go wide open throttle on the 85 all the way to red line. So right now we're actually filling the car full of the 85 while we're loading the new tune. Definitely excited to hop on the freeway in Mexico, of course, and uh, see what this does until red line. I'm a little nervous. I seen what it did until 6,500 RPMs, and I'm not gonna lie, it kind of scared me. So, like I said, loading the tune, filling the car with the E85, and then uh, we'll see you guys on the GoPro in just a little bit. All right, so we got the tune loaded. Let's go ahead and start this thing out. Ooh. It sounds good. And it starts chopping. It sounds even better. I'm in love with this thing. I'm glad I kept it. I'm gonna leave it warm up for a few minutes and then we'll hit the road. All right, so now that we have the new tune loaded, I have to admit the drivability on the car is so much better. And that's the main thing that we're focusing on right now. We wanna get the drivability to where it's driving near stock. Now, I get it's going to be a little difficult with the cam that's in the car. It's a massive cam. Um, yes, occasionally the car will shut off when coming to a stop. Yes, the idle does surge, but all of that is improving every time that we get a revision. This is my second revision on E85. And I have to say, um, the car is driving so much better. It went back with the two regulator system because RT's performance wasn't quite happy with the fuel trims while it was on the single regulator. So that helped clean things up a little bit. I had a minor vacuum leak. I went ahead and fixed that. And uh, now we're just trying to finish dialing it in. Once we get the car to the point where we feel like it's ready to get on the dyno, we'll get on the dyno. Right now we're cleared to go wide open throttle until uh, red line. So uh, with that being said, we're gonna do so and hopefully he gives us the clear to get on the dyno and uh, we'll get you some numbers and we'll finish dialing in the car. Um, with that being said, in the previous video, we were only able to go up to 6,500 RPMs. I'm definitely nervous to go all the way to the end. Um, it's been a while and I don't know what to expect. This car is making a lot more power than what it did, even though if it's only on its base tune. Um, the car is making right around 17 to 18 pounds of boost. Uh, before, I believe it was only making like 13 on the 27 pulley. Um, and now we have those cams in there and the heads and uh, a ported lower blower, which means even less restriction, so more power. Uh, this is going to be insane. Um, you guys will be able to see my reaction in just a little bit here. And I'm definitely excited to share that with you guys. And uh, definitely excited to get this car dialed in and get some races under my belt, get on the track, set the quarter mile record. And from there, I guess we'll decide to see if we're gonna stay with the Roush blower or move on to a different platform. Uh, not a different car, but we might go over to turbos, we might go over to a centrifugal blower, we might go over to another root style blower, such as a Whipple. Uh, 3.8 Whipple would be nice. Um, the new ESS kits are looking real nice. The, the Pro Chargers are looking nice. Vortex are looking nice. Um, literally anything besides the Roush, because obviously the Roush has issues. But we're here to prove that the Roush is still capable. If you really want to make it capable. Um, it's a map car at the end of the day, so it's limited by that as well. So we may eventually uh, switch it over to a MAF setup and uh, relearn the strategy for a MAF car. And uh, obviously we're gonna have to have a custom intake made up for that. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, here goes everything.
expected at all. Oh my God. Well guys, I got a, a little mark on my forehead from the GoPro, but from that reaction alone, I'm sure you guys already know that uh, I'm very, very impressed. This car is pretty much on a base tune still. He just added a little bit of fuel to the top end. And this car, holy shit. We got a new competitor, guys. I'm calling it now. This is going eight seconds for sure. No doubt. We are breaking the record. I am 100% content with this car. This car is no joke. Um, that was from 2,500 RPMs, and you saw how fast those miles per hour climbed up. There were some big time tuners that could not get this car dialed in. Big shout out to Ortiz Performance. Luis, thank you. You have made me happy. You have made me beyond happy. Like, I owe you. So definitely go check him out. Um, he's doing big things in the NA world right now. He's doing big things in the boosted world right now. He is going places, guys. He, I'm telling you guys, he is taking over the Mustang world. Uh, and he's doing it fast. But these bigger shops such as Lund, Palm Beach, etc. They don't give you the time and effort like a smaller shop will. And uh, Ortiz is getting pretty big, I'm not going to lie. But at the end of the day, the customer service has always been there. He's always helping me, trying to diagnose an issue when I have an issue. Um, he's come clutch so many times. And uh, today I have to say, he's made me proud. He's put my car in a position where it's the fastest it's ever been. And it's pretty much still on a base too. That says a lot. Just finishing up at Les Schwab Tire right now. So I just heard back from Ortiz Performance today and uh, we got good news. We are cleared to get on the dyno. The car is looking good. Fuel trims are much, much better than what they used to be. So we went ahead and got this thing aligned at Les Schwab. Uh, the spec was way off. Obviously we dropped the engine. We did work to the rear end. So I knew the alignment was off. It was actually pulling. The steering wheel wasn't straight. So it was annoying more than anything. Anytime I'd make a left turn or something, the signal light would not go off. Um, yes, I use my signal lights, one of very few. <laughs> um, with that being said, in the morning, we are gonna be doing a 60 to 130 hit and uh, maybe a couple of them, maybe 60 to 150, something like that. And uh, we'll be sending those logs over to Ortiz Performance. And after New Year's, we'll be getting on the dyno. He is on vacation until after New Year's, so we're not gonna bother him while he's on vacation, obviously. Um, once he's back from vacation, he'll let us know. We'll get a dyno appointment scheduled. And we'll be getting this thing on the dyno, and hopefully we get some really good results. I'm excited for that. Let's shoot for over a thousand wheel horsepower. That would be ideal. And uh, 60 to 130 times predictions. I'm gonna assume the first Roush in the force before any timing is added. I'm gonna be that bold. We're gonna predict it right now. 4, 8, 60, 130. Before it's dialed in. It's a little foggy out here in Mexico this morning, but we're out here this morning to test our 60 to 130 times. As you see, we do have the draggy mounted on the dashboard right now. Um, hopefully the fog clears up just a little because it is a little sketchy. Um, either way, we're gonna be testing out the 60 to 130. Um, if we can get it to hook, it's a little cold outside. It's about 40 degrees. Um, so I'm a little skeptical if it's gonna hook. If not, we're just gonna head right on back and try this another time.
but spinning bad. Keep in mind, this literally has no timing in the car whatsoever. Okay, so we're gonna make one more hit in attempts to hit force. I'd be so happy if we can hit force before adding any timing. That means once we add timing, we're gonna be probably in the low force. Um, at minimum, I want a low five second pass, like five one, five two. Um, be happy with that. I'm not really hooking. It's cold out. Um, I don't know. Either way, we're gonna make a pass um, and send that information over, and we're just gonna have to be happy with what we have. seconds we have an animal on our hands Jesus from my reaction right there you guys know how excited I am I'm like literally fucking shaking I stayed in it even though we spun the back end still kicked out um, I will put a screenshot of that pass right here um, I'm waiting on a phone mount so because my lawn just disintegrated um, during a pull before my car blew so I'm waiting on another phone mount so we can mount my phone to the dash um, no it's not a fluke you guys saw it 5.08 seconds 60 to 130 full weight passenger seat full rear car seat in the back and we got Christmas gifts in the back who needs fucking coffee in the morning when we can get up and do this and wake ourselves up Let's go. All right, guys, I am absolutely amazed on what this car is doing right now with absolutely no timing in the car whatsoever. It's literally a base tune on E85 and it ran a 5.08 second, 60 to 130. I was debating going to 150, checking the 100 to 150 mile per hour times, but it was a little sketchy, so I just let out. Um, I was spinning through pretty much the whole pass. So I know it has force in it for sure with better weather conditions. It is a little foggy out as mentioned. So um, I'm sure the ground's a little wet so it contributed to spinning just a little maybe. Um, either that or we're just overpowering the road and um, tire pressure set to 16 PSI. So we should be hooking but we're not. With that being said guys, enjoy your holidays with your family stay safe merry christmas happy new year's this is probably the last video that you're gonna see until after new year's until we get on the dyno most likely unless something else comes up with that being said guys hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you have go ahead smash that thumbs up button drop a comment in the comment section below let me know what you want to see next it's almost that time almost time for racing that being said guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet what are you waiting for you already know there's gonna be some bangers coming you already know this is the fastest route in the world smash that subscribe button do me a big favor it does help the channel tremendously moving forward help me grow to provide you guys content with that being said guys I will catch you guys in the next one until next time I'm out